Hola, you may who. My name is Olivia and I'm a youth development volunteer in Peru. I live and work in the very small rural community of Shia. Um, however, due to some political instability at the moment, um, I've been placed on administrative hold in the United States, so I'm eagerly awaiting my return. In Peru, PCVs live with a host family for the full two years, so I have two very loving host parents and three younger host siblings. Um, our house is pretty centrally located in town. It's about one minute walk to the plaza, and it's right next to the school that I work at practically every day. Right now it is summertime in Peru, so I'm supporting the police and the municipality with their summer youth program. I am teaching English combined with life skills in both programs. Um, for example, the first week we learned basic introductions and greetings in English, along with what is a personal goal, how to set a personal goal, and how to achieve one, um, especially regarding the lessons of the class. Um, during the school year, I work in the secondary school to support the school psychologist and the life skills teachers to develop and teach lessons regarding leadership, confidence, and soft skills for employment. Um, we also put on vocational fairs and vocational panels, as well as extracurricular activities and clubs um, surrounding the students' interests. When I'm not doing these youth development activities, um, I'm normally helping my host mom in the kitchen of her restaurant. Um, she cooks tradition, pr traditional Peruvian dishes, such as ají de gallina, um, tallarín saltado, arroz con pollo, um, and ceviche, just to name a few. Um, and a staple of these, these dishes is potatoes and rice. Um, which is such a common uh, ingredient in Peruvian culture. Um, one fun dish I've tried is picante de cuy, which is guinea pig with potatoes. Um, guinea pig is a delicacy in Peru, so I'm normally eating this dish at community events. Um, and for all those wondering, guinea pig tastes a lot like chicken. In my free time, I am also hiking in the surrounding hills, helping my host siblings with their chores on the farm, or knitting with my host mom while we watch movies. Um, while my house has a TV with cable and I have access to phone service, um, there's an absolutely no access to Wi-Fi in my town. So I have to travel to the next closest town of Carruaj, which is about 20 minutes by car, and is also where the next closest PCV lives. Um, the biggest challenge I have faced in my service so far is the language barrier between me and Quechua speakers. Quechua is the language that the Incans used, and many in my town, including my host grandparents and the parents that I work, the parents of the children that I work with, still only speak Quechua to this day. Um, it proves to be very difficult to explain who I am and who what I'm doing here um, when implementing projects or ideas. Um, and so I am so it provides an opportunity to bond with my host mom as she teaches me Quechua at pretty much every day when I sit in the kitchen with her. Um, this is just the beginning of my Peace Corps service. Um, and so with each passing day, I am learning a ton about my community, about international development work, and even about myself. Um, so I am very, very, very excited for what is to come in the next 21 months. Um, and I hope you enjoyed a glimpse into my life here in Shia. Thank you.